Uh, police in Richfield honored one of their own tonight. Pat Kelly officially retired. And as Ken Speak tells us, Pat Kelly, the very first woman officer ever hired here in the Twin Cities, had some stories to tell. Yep, she made quite a stir 30 years ago. The newspapers kind of kept track of that. Patricia Rooney, qualifying on the pistol range. A lady sleuth clears up car thefts here from April of 1958. Pat Rooney made a lot of headlines as the first suburban woman police officer, and she touched a lot of hearts. Many of those hearts gathered tonight to share home movies of Pat Rooney Kelly's wedding, to be surprised again at how he looked back then, to remember Pat's first years as a police officer, and to hear from those who were surprised, who she'd had to prove herself to, who remembered being awakened her first day on the job. So I got up, turned around, and this young lady said, gee, I'm awful sorry, officer, I didn't mean to wake you up. Pat Rooney Kelly proved herself to her fellow officers time and again. Proved 30 years ago that a woman can do the job and made some fast friends doing it. Pat, I feel it's a real privilege to be the one that first met you and now on your last day to say goodbye. God bless you. Yep, it was a good time. An acknowledgement of friendship between colleagues friendship and respect that Pat Rooney Kelly, the first suburban woman police officer, worked hard to earn. Ken Speak, News 11, Richfield. So what's next for Pat Kelly? She says she'll loaf for a while, and then when she gets bored with that, she'll look for a second career job, and no, she does not miss walking the beat.